the man who tried to create videos and cartoons and whatever else it might have been against the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from among them a whole group became Muslim over time those who tried to destroy a reputation only destroyed their own they suffered and struggled with mental challenges I've actually gone in and tried to do a little bit of a research on some of those and you find they've all been on medication for psychological disorders or a lot of them they've got a problem with themselves they, and they are victims of misinformation that's why Allah says clarify clear they don't know they are victims of misinformation that's why they hate on the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him and from the time of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in Ta'if when they tried to harm him guess what the angels had offered to crush the people of Ta'if the Prophet Muhammad says Allahumma hdi qawmi fa innahum la ya'lamun Oh Allah guide my people because they are victims of misinformation they don't know they don't know when they knew a few years later guess what they became Muslims Ta'if is Muslim Today, the great, great grandchildren of the same people, they are all Muslims. They are praying five times a day. When they said the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, meaning the Kuffar of Quraysh, when they said he was after women, like I said, he was, they said he was after wealth. They said he was after power and position. What power? What position? What wealth? What women? He had a wife, Khadija. When he was in the peak of his life 25 years you're marrying a 40 year old lady and that was your only wife at the time until more than a decade later subhanallah and your children were with her later on he married widows those who were divorced a few of them each one was for a purpose for a more noble purpose than the base desire of man that you and i may marry for sometimes it was a much more noble purpose it served a lot go and read it find out each marriage why it happened and how it happened and find out from correct sources not just from the wrong sources you will know and realize so no matter what they picked on it backfired on them Abu Sufyan Ibn Harb one of the leaders of Quraysh at the time of the victory of Mecca, what happened? He came to declare his Shahada. He acknowledged that the only reason we denied was not because we believed he was telling that a lie, but we were worried about how it would change the demographics of society. It's the reason why we denied. 